Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So, uh, in this video, I'm going to be walking us through the interface of Binance on the mobile view. I have already done one for the desktop view, and for every video I make, I will try as much as possible to be making one for the mobile and um, as much as one for the desktop. Okay, so this is just a walkthrough of how the mobile interface looks like. That's from the Binance Lite to the Binance Pro, because we have two different modes on the Binance mobile application. So once you download the application on either the Play Store or the App Store, depending on which device you're using, you open it up and this is what it looks like on the Android, because I'll be doing this video is based on the Android product. Okay, so uh, once you open up the application, yeah. So once you open up the application, this sorry, this is how it looks like. Okay, so this is how the application looks like once you open it up. So I will start with the Binance lights of it. No, uh, this is how the Binance lights looks like. And of course, if you look below here, how you differentiate this is that you just get to see three different buttons on here for the Binance lights as with respect to when you open up the professional a view you get to see how it looks like so this is the market just like we see on here so you get to see this is just showing by but when you create an account it shows you buy and convert and the rest so on here you also see the wallet so this shows up the wallet is showing this because we are not yet signed into an account so if you look up here this is where you get to scan QR code for you to automatically log into your desktop at the website app of it if you already logged into the mobile app okay so it was like I, it's what it does is to sync everything together immediately okay so they sign up and log in and change it because we are not yet signed in so when you click on this profile button you get to see a doggo to move between the professional and the light so the light is on and that's why it's showing this and now there's the settings this is where you can another first place you can actually switch between the dark mode and the light mode is on here if I click on it, you see that it changes to the dark mode. And if I click on it again, it switches to the light mode. So this is also the help desk icon. If you want to contact their customer support. So on here is the settings for you to make some adjustments to here. That's the payment currency, the rest, the light mode and dark mode. This way you can also make changes to your mood. Okay. So if you look on here, it is the settings that you get on here. So if we click on this, it moves us to the, the professional part of it. So on the professional part of it, as you can see on the bottom here, we have five different modes. The home is where you see every single thing happening. Okay, so this is the home. This is where you see every single thing happening. Now, if we look below here, you see the markets. So it shows you the current market rates for every single thing. So on here, you see the trade. Now the trade consists of convert the spot the margin the fiat and the p2p that was what they collected together on that trade so this is where you actually convert your coins immediately asap or you trade on the spot or if you're doing a margin trading or maybe if you want to buy and sell via p2p okay, so these features trading for those that will be trading on features down the line okay so this is where you get your features trading and these are different options that you have for Futures trading, okay. So, this is the wallet part of it, yeah. Of course, it will show us login and sign up because, yeah, of course, it's we are not yet signed into an account. So, that's for this view, okay. And if you go back to home, you get to see the different options too, where you can scan the QR code, help index, notification, and the rest, okay. So, that's what you get on the mobile view of Binance. So, uh, do subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so that you know when ever we post because we will be doing more of this video about how to create an account, how to trade on Binance, whether it's a sport trading or futures trading, things that you need to consider when you're buying a coin, when you want to sell a coin, and the rest. So, thanks for watching. That's when it's I'll catch you next one. Peace.